Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. Today, I decided to paint a hamburger because it's just my favorite. <laughs> As always, I paint what I want, what I like, and sometimes I paint what I crave. <laughs> so I want to eat a burger right now. So I was like, uh, let me look for a picture of a yummy burger and paint it. So today we'll be doing a double patty burger and we will be using only a few colors today and most of them, I think most of you already have these colors and you don't have to worry if you, um, if you don't have some of the colors, we can just simply mix like for example, orange, you can simply mix red and yellow. Anyway, let me tell you the colors that I'll be using for today's painting tutorial. Of course, we have titanium white. I'll be placing it right here beside me. We'll be using lots of titanium white today. So I think that's enough. And then we'll be using some mid yellow. Okay. All right, it's not coming out. <laughs> Okay, that's enough for now. And then I'll be using some Brilliant Red. Okay. I'll be using some Burnt Sienna. Actually, we will be using a lot of Burnt Sienna today. All right, like that. And of course, we will be using the black color. That's it. So let's begin now. For the sketching part, I will be using my paint straight away because I don't want to use my chalk anymore for this one. It's quite easy to sketch. It's just like, you know, you know what a burger looks like, guys. So I think most of you already know what a burger looks like. So for the sketch part, I'll be using my burnt sienna. And let's begin now. So I'll be linking down below again as uh, I normally do. The reference image that I'm using for this uh, burger uh, painting and since we are painting a natural it's not a natural subject this is a painting that or this is the subject uh, the form and shape of which may change depending on how you know how you like it I mean if you want your burger to be a little wider to be a little fat it's all right you can do that. What we're trying to achieve here is to identify the colors of a burger. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, we will be, okay, I'll be doing my best uh, to paint this as realistic as possible. All right, so that's basically it. We have here the buns and the patty. But we will be doing again double um double patty burger so okay let me just sit properly all right let me underpaint first the buns and for the underpainting of the buns i'll be using a square brush okay i'll be getting my burnt sienna i'll be mixing that with my cadmium yellow and white tiny bit of red all right okay more burnt sienna i hope you can see that yeah you can see it like this color this is the underpainting so it can change later it will change later definitely it looks dark right now because we are not yet highlighting okay all right i'll be using more cadmium yellow right here and red So yellow and red, it's like orangey, browny color. Okay. 
All right. And we will just clean those areas that went outside my sketch. It's all right. It's just paint. You can paint over it later. All right, just like that. And then I'm going to proceed to doing the the bottom bun using the same colors. You know, we'll, we will be painting a realistic burger. You know, uh, burgers, when they are being promoted on advertisement, they look so perfect. But this time, we will be painting a more realistic burger, meaning as you buy them, not as you see them on TV. So let me underpaint now the patty. And for that, we will be using some black and brown color. Okay but more black so it's quite really really dark brown so just paint it under paint it this way it has some bacon and cheese so it's not just a patty we will be painting some bacons later Same here. This. Okay, some browns. So basically, the underpainting is quite dark. All right. Like so. And I think I will just continue underpainting this area. with some dark browns okay. I'm gonna make it go up So here I'm just gonna fill in those spaces that I have here so that you know I kind of somehow <laughs> underpaint them but they're not really the color I just don't want to leave them black you know what I mean I just don't want them to leave just plain white even though I am painting over them with some colors later because of the cheese bacon and stuff like that I want it to be cleanly underpainted so now I'll be just making some markings on the burger on the on the bun I mean and I will change my brush soon I'll be using a smaller brush because I it's kind of hard uh, making smaller details using this big square brush that I have here all right like that okay again just fill in those spaces that you see that are not yet painted on just like that it's the other painting now and i'll be using a smaller brush okay so i need to do some cheese color so i'll be mixing some yellow okay tiny bit of brown and red oh that's too much i think that's too uh, anyway, I, I will I will make it work for me. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white So red yellow and white just combine and Maybe tiny tiny bit of brown And we're gonna start the cheese right here. 
I'll be doing wet on wet because as you can see it's quite yet I mean it's not yet dry the underpainting I'll be making some melted cheese right here you know later it will make sense because again I chose this subject because it's it looks so yummy I'm gonna make I'm gonna do my best to make it look as yummy as the picture And by the way, guys, I don't know, just a little chit chat with you. I'll be, um, I'll be going on a hike tomorrow morning, 3 a.m. I'm leaving my, uh, we're leaving at 3 a.m. And I don't know, it's quite early. Uh, I'll be waking up quite early, although I'm really used to waking up early. But it's just too early. Okay. We'll be extending the cheese right here. The key here is when you see the yellow, paint it right away with yellow. Don't wait, for, uh, don't go back and forth, you know. Go as, as less as, as what? As so. Uh, go for those colors just once as much as possible maybe you will see some uh similar colors later but as much as possible if you see the color paint it straight away don't wait i'm gonna add some reddish color right here because it kind of reflects um some burnt bacon All right, I'll be using some red. I'm not washing my brush at all, as you can see. That's because I want everything, uh, the colors in my palette, I want everything present. You know, you will be painting some overlapping bacon, my favorite. All right, like that. Okay, just red. Just like that. And then we will be adding some mayonnaise. I don't know if you're a fan of mayonnaise. You can uh, dispense with the mayo if you really don't feel like painting the exact same thing. And if you just want to paint something that you actually like. Me, I don't mind, you know, eating may uh, mayo. Alright, I'm going to wash. Uh, no, no need to wash the brush. I'm just going to get my burnt sienna. I'm going to add a tiny bit of black and white so it's like grayish brownish color maybe red as well and then i'm gonna water it down and cut, randomly make some markings on the patty just like what i'm doing guys i hope you can see what i'm doing i'm just watering down my black and brown mixture and then making some droplet like um, patterns on the patty you can actually use your fingers to make it more irregularly shaped all right 
and I'll be doing the same thing down here I'll be getting my black mix it with a tiny bit of brown just to kind of remove the harshness of that black and I'm gonna make the bottom portion I'm just gonna create some shadows and depth right here so that the burger is not really just floating you know visually it should be placed somewhere like on top of a table or a plate but this will be placed on top of a wooden tray or something like that okay again I'm, I'll be using my black and brown mixture maybe more black and I'm gonna make some depth Okay, it's not really making sense right now. It's like I'm, I'm painting a, a, what do you call this? A disgusting subject. It's not, but later it will make sense. For now, let's just you know, allow me to demonstrate how this is will going to be brought to life. just allow that first to dry and I'm gonna go do the mayo and for the mayonnaise I'm just gonna get my pure white of course pure white and I'm gonna add tiny bit of mm, tiny bit of yellow okay just tiny bit guys do not make this light yellow just a hint of yellow and tiny bit of black just tiny bit don't make it too gray as well and I'm gonna go and do the mayonnaise right here. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black and yellow. Again, don't overdo this mixing. gonna run I mean the mayonnaise is like dripping over this mouth watering burger all right 
that's basically the shape of the dripping mayonnaise I'm gonna extend it right here like that right. okay there will be some sort of reflection oops sorry like that okay I'm gonna use this color mixed with my yellow and try to like highlight the cheese gonna make it a little orange Let me get some light brown. So I'm just going to add white to my existing brown. Let's make some highlights on the patty. We will do it one by one, step by step. I'm not going to rush for this one. Okay, more brown. Okay, sometimes I'll be inserting some reddish color because you know when the meat is uh, cooked they're quite reddish all right I'll be getting I'll be getting my black And, I'll, and I'm actually now making some more depth. check how it appears red so it doesn't really making it doesn't make sense right now right 
but of course we're not yet highlighting that's why so I'm gonna highlight or make some details on the first on the top one and for that I'll be using some brownie color and yellow so I'll be mixing some brown and yellow okay maybe add red I'll be watering it down oh I'm gonna add white it's not quite visible like that and I'll be using my fingers to kind of spread the paint like so Okay, that's too red. I'll be making it quite orangey. Okay. Okay. As you can see, I'm using my brush. I'm using my fingers alternately. I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind getting paints on my hands. I think I need more yellow. And some brownie colors some black all right like that I'll be using the same color red yellow and white If you heard that, that's my neighbor. <laughs> Some yellow colors right here. And down here. It's like yellow brown.
and darken this side. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out, or maybe not. I'm just gonna make some more highlights right here on the bun. I'm gonna make again some light brownish color plus red. I'm just using again my fingers to blend it in such a way that it looks more like natural more than perfectly blended by the way I haven't really thanked those who actually paint along with me and those who tag me uh, when they do the their own version of the painting I really appreciate those kind of gesture when they tag me when they do the tutorial because you know um, honestly there are some who just follow the tutorial and then they post it on their social media as if uh, they just painted it all on their own. I don't know. I feel like there's something wrong with that kind of posting. I don't know. Um, that's my opinion. It just, I mean, if I were in their place, I would have felt a little guilty about it. I'm just combining red and brown. Okay, I'm getting my black just to create more like indents. Or indentation, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll be playing around with black and black uh, with black and brown sorry <laughs> can't speak today i really haven't packed anything for my hike tomorrow uh later after painting this one okay, i will so as i told you guys i will be playing around with black and brown like alternately using them you can actually see it as I go because I feel like uh, if I talk as I paint I won't be able to actually 
accomplish this painting You can hear again the street noise right in front of my building. All right, I'm going to allow that first to dry. This, it's like a second underpainting, right? So I'm, before we do more detailing, I'm just going to do some um, seeds. What do you call those seeds? Sesame seeds. So for that, I'll be using some mixture of yellow, black, and white. But the most dominant color should be white. So it's like grayish, yellowish color. Sometimes I'll be adding some yellow to make some seeds more yellowish than the others. Some will be a little brownish. Okay, like that. Okay. I'll be using my burnt sienna and I'll be watering down my burnt sienna and I'm just gonna go quite randomly. I'll be adding some black to make it like more dark.
All right, now I'll be going around the bun by outlining it. Just like that. that I'll be making some brownish gray so I'm mixing brown and um, white and black maybe I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow Some more depth right here. Okay, now I'm gonna get my white. And I think I will dry brush a bit right here. Just like that, just just for the highlights. Like that. Again, pure white. Sorry. Okay, some light yellows. So I'm mixing my yellow and browns.
Actually, this should be more light. here and there. Okay, now I'm going back to my red and some yellow color. Don't mix the red and yellow. It's like bacon. We're making some bacon strips. Okay, I'm gonna get my white for some highlights. Now I'm gonna get my pure yellow plus white. Let's just highlight the cheese. I'm just going to continue this. gonna make some dark brown More 
indentations, more shadows for the seats. Gonna use some light brown. Okay, now I'm gonna use pure white. For the mayo. But not all parts of the mayo will be pure white. Okay, I'm gonna get some yellow. Now I'm going to get my gray plus yellow, okay, and I'm just going to make some dimension on our mayonnaise. I mean, it's not really obvious, but I kind of know that it's there. Okay, now I'm going to use some light brown. You know, we only have a few colors here, so don't worry too much. You can always pause the video and come back and always look at your reference image. <clears throat> we use our reference images to know... Um, the truth about the subject our memory is not that capable of remembering details of reality it kind of filters what we only want to see that's why we need reference photos we don't see the imperfections of so many things and actually those imperfections make the image more beautiful more realistic so I'm gonna use some dark brown. For more details on the patties. I'm gonna mix my red and brown. Tiny bit of black, just for some signs of being, or that the bacon is cooked. Okay, before we proceed to de to more detailing, I'm just gonna make some background. So I don't want it to be just a floating burger right in front of our faces. I'm gonna make some light brown. So yellow and brown and then white. 
let's just make the base where or the the table or the plate on which the burger is placed Alright, like that. And then I'll be getting more black. Plus white, so it's like gray color. But more black, of course, because we kind of like it to be more dark. So doing the background while waiting for the paint to dry is quite um, efficient. Now, if you already have a black canvas, that's good. Now, what you're going to do is only the table. You don't have to do the rest of the background. I'm gonna get some brown and I'm gonna go in between the brown and the light the black and the light brown color
Okay, wash your brush out. Oh, this looks nice. I didn't expect this. <laughs> this looks nice, but we haven't really done like full detail yet. We haven't really done full detail yet. All right, I'm gonna use some white. I'm just gonna like suggest some light here. I'm gonna let it dry. We're going to remove the tape later so that we can actually see the full view of this painting. All right, now I'm gonna use a smaller brush for more detailing. So I'm gonna use my yellow and brown and red, probably white as well. And I'm gonna continue doing the bun. I think I have to extend it a bit further just like that and of course I have to wait for the paint to dry for me to add more sesame seeds All right. I'm gonna use brown and yellow and then white I'm gonna get more burnt sienna. And then black.
Oops. I'm gonna make some gray. I'm just gonna continue it. Actually, more gray. All right, like that. All right. Okay. I'm going to outline the mayo. So ever so thinly, just apply some black around the mayo. I'm gonna make some orange by mixing red and yellow. in a dark brown color. Right here. I wonder how this looks like. Oh, nice. I think I need to do some more um, layering on the mayo. I'm gonna get some yellow plus brown or maybe just yeah water down yellow brown and just kind of highlight the burger I mean the bun just like so
after I. Now I think I have to add more sesame seeds, right? I think so. But let me just finish this. All right, for the sesame seeds, we'll just redo what we, do, what we did earlier. So just a mixture of white and brown. Sometimes um, dark brown, sometimes light brown, sometimes just pure white. Okay, now I'm going to make some dark yellow. So I'm going to be mixing yellow plus brown. I'm just going to darken some areas to create depth. I will extend the patty. Like that. Just gonna make some glazing. Like that. some more shadowing
Like that. I'm gonna get some yellow. I think this is nice, right? This is nice. Okay, and I think I'll just use my yellow plus red. And I'm going to slightly highlight or glaze this part and this part yellow And then I'm just going to highlight again the table. And let's add some tiny bit of shadow.
more highlights on the bun. You can check. I'm just gonna get my pure yellow. I'm gonna glaze it. Then again, some yellowish colors. Like that. Wait guys, I'm just reading some some comments. All right, I'm, I'm actually waiting for this to dry. So I'm reading some comments on some of my paintings that I may want to share with you.
Okay, because I've painted some of my uh, rainy day painting, so I think people are liking it. <laughs> Sorry guys for the quick silence, but yeah, let's just continue. Okay, again, add more details as maybe necessary. I'm gonna add some hint of yellow right here. Like that. Could be anything, like uh, some sort of ketchup or anything like that.
Okay. Wow. I think I spent so much time for this burger. Don't you think so? You can stop at whatever stage that you are in right now. I'm just gonna go. I think I need more yellow. Okay, you can tell already that I'm obsessing over detailing. I don't know how this looks like, but I mean on camera, I'm gonna check right now. Oh, this looks so good, my gosh. <laughs> 
that's the result when I obsess over something. Okay, I think this is done, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think I've, I've spent like what? Almost two hours doing this one. I think this is done and let's just... Okay, I'm still painting. I'm just so in the mood right now to paint. That's why I've spent almost two hours for this. Yep, I think I have to sign this now, right? I think I have to sign this now, don't you think so? But I'm not yet signing it because I need to work on more detailing. So for the signature, I'm just going to sign right here. I'm just going to use my black. And that's it. So I want to I want to remove, I want to peel off the the tape. I wonder how this looks like without the tape. So I'm going to peel this off. try to make a reveal I think this looks nice guys of course some paints went over or went inside the paint I mean the tape but yeah, I think this is generally nice. Nice. Oh my gosh, this looks so nice. Okay, so I think we're done. And if you want or if you experience the same thing, 
like having some paint uh, go outside the line you can actually paint over that just use white if um, your canvas paper is white so I'm just gonna use white just to kind of clean it somehow because I don't want it to be messy all right okay yeah hey so we're done guys wow almost two hours doing this so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this one i hope you do this one as well and if you like it wait guys let me just add a little more detail Okay, again, as I was saying, if you like this one, please give me a like, share this video with your friends so that you can, sh oh, you can actually share the uh, painting process for this one. I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you do this one as well. If you do this one, tag me on your Facebook account or Facebook post or Instagram. The links are on my YouTube profile. You can click them down or click them down. <laughs> You can click them and follow me around. <laughs> follow me around on social media. Thank you for watching so much, guys. Mm -hmm.